Hey, it's Gabe. I just wanted to talk peach bud basics with you guys. So first, first thing, let's talk about what is going to be a flower, which turns into a peach, and what's going to be a vegetative bud. So there's two basic types of buds. Let's zoom right in here, and we'll get a good video of these two different types of buds. See right here, we've got a big fat bud. In the middle, there's a small pointy bud. And then on the other side, there's a big fat bud. We can look at it again down here. These are a little bit more spread out. So here we've got a big fat bud, small pointy one, big fat one. Now when in there, they're in groups of three, that middle one's always gonna be the small pointy one and that's vegetative, that's gonna be a leaf and the big fat ones on either side are gonna be flowers. So again, right here you can see popcorn, big fat one, small pointy one, got a flower, we've got a leaf. Okay, something else important to know on peach fruit buds. We'll look at this piece of wood right here. So we can see a grow line right there that separates two different years. On peaches, they bear fruit on second year wood. So what that means is right here where I've got the fruit buds, that grew last year. It will bear fruit this year and never again. So this one right here that grew the previous year, it had fruit on it last year. It will not have fruit on it again. You can see there are no buds. The only thing coming off of it are new shoots that have buds. So that's why renewal pruning is important in peaches. Now we hit some very, very cold temperatures as pretty much all of the central United States. So what I've done is I've cut some, brought them inside, kept them at 70 degrees for a couple days, and I cut them open. So we go and get our X-Acto knife from the wife's craft drawer, and after we can't find it, she points exactly in her craft drawer where it's at, and boom, there it is. So as you can see, I've sliced these open in the middle, long ways, the middle is brown, it's dead. Up here, this is the only one I've been able to find so far that appears to be alive. Let's turn that more towards the light. You can see it's not brown in the middle. It's starting to get a little bit of a browning effect because I cut it open probably 30 minutes ago, but it's mostly green. And here's the other side of that bud. Right there is the fruit bud and you can see it's green. And I've sliced and sliced on that one, so it's it's not the best example anymore because I, I was just looking for something brown in the middle, so I kept slicing. But it uh, turns out we might actually have a live fruit bud. So that's the good news, uh, is that I did find one live one. More good news is that on peaches, whenever all of your fruit buds are viable, you've got way too many pieces of fruit and you've got to thin off, you know, a lot of instances, 80 to 90%. So if all of these fruit buds were to be alive in the spring, I would need to thin some of that fruit off. And if we've got a fairly certain and heavy crop, we might start that during bloom. Uh, but most of the time we're gonna do that after bloom when we've got a little bit more certain crop. And so one rule of thumb we use is the hang loose sign. You're gonna be pointing to peaches with your finger and your thumb. So everything in between needs to go away. Uh, so that's an appropriate way to space your peaches. I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, going over some peach bud basics with me. Be sure and check back for more videos.